Hey, Tim Stone. Welcome to the Gig Live. How are you? Hey, Brianna. I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks so much I'm for having good. me. Yes, definitely. So where are we calling you from? I am in the woods in Shahola, Pennsylvania. It's about an hour from Scranton. And uh, I like to stay here with the bears and the turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything that's less than like 20 miles away from a Starbucks. <laughs> oh, well, I have my Dunkin' Donuts here. I often go there to get my work done. They are not a paid sponsor, however. Right. right. Well, they should be after seeing this, you know, Dunkin'. I know. Just him. Him, him, him. <laughs> so we are here with um, Sone Social Media Solutions. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Absolutely. So, uh, so I started Tone Social Media Solutions uh, almost seven years ago, and uh, what we do is we work with businesses to attract more customers, and we also work with events to sell more tickets. So we do that through uh, social media management, advertising, press releases, uh, and we actually also go to events here in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania and shoot photos, videos, engage with audiences live during the events, uh, which helps sell even more tickets for the next year. That's amazing. So love we it. have something in common. We both own social media companies. And awesome. I love talking to other social media gurus because we can feed off of each other and teach each other new things. Um, so, you know, with every business, there's always something that like we love, and then there's always something that we maybe are not so hot about. So what is something you absolutely love about being, I have some answers about being in social media marketing. And then what are some things that maybe you, you're not crazy about? Yeah. So I really love, um, meeting so many different kinds of businesses and business owners and employees. I work with so many different kinds of businesses and events. I work with everyone from, uh, I've worked with real estate companies to I uh, work with a readers and writers festival that's put together by a nonprofit. I work with a septic company. What? They take out your poop. So uh, <laughs> it's There's a fun for that one, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but what, uh, what the, the thing that I love the most is uh, is really working with so many different kinds of businesses and people and, and, and just building relationships with them. I especially love working with clients long term. And um, one interesting thing is that my best leads always come from, uh, I do a lot of in-person workshops and I always get the best clients from, from in-person workshops. Really? Yes. I, you know, I don't know. I've, I've, I've got some great clients off of networking groups, like where, yeah. you know, everyone has their turn to talk and stuff like that, but, um, never from, I, I haven't done a lot of workshops though. I should, I should up my game, be more like Tim, hashtag be like Tim. <laughs> hashtag be like Tim. And then you could also sing some songs, you know, while you're starting your, your workshops, you could just break out in song about oh, social media. Right. That is something I am notorious for. <laughs> <laughs> that is something I'm doing. Yeah. There you go. Um, Meld the two together. I, I know, right? Yeah. Marry the two. You have a single <laughs> social media strategist named Shelco. Okay. There's a lot of S's there. Um, so what is something that maybe you're not crazy about? I know that like for me, for example, I cannot stand how KPIs are measured on social media platforms and the expectations that are put on social media marketing. It's like, you know, social media is one sliver of an entire digital strategy. And it feels yeah. like, is it just me or does it feel like all the pressure is on that one tiny sliver when none of the other components are being paid for? Yeah, for sure. And I think yeah. a lot of it is setting the expectations when you start to work with a client. Um, I have an amazing freelancer that works with me and we were just having this conversation the other day about that idea of a client expecting visibility versus conversion, you know, like right. throwing stuff out there, more like brand awareness. But the majority of clients that I work with, they just want more customers. They want more right. sales. They want yeah. more money, right? Right. So, um, so definitely those expectations. The other thing that is challenging for sure is I, I do not love sales. I love meeting so many people, <laughs> but the actual sales process, I just, it's, it's not my favorite thing in the world. And we all have to do it, but 
uh, it's not something I love. Yeah. Yeah. Sales is, um, I actually love sales, but that's because I'm super, Ooh. I'm super cheesy. Um, but I love, like I get, I get like this crazy, I love sales. It's one of those things I do love, but it has to be a, what I'm learning now is like how to balance between just selling anything. And it has to be like a viable, amazing product that everyone's going to love. And that's a really yeah. hard thing for me. Cause I'm like, Ooh, a pony and this and this and this. And look at that, look at this. So that's cool. Yeah, that's some great, that's some great feedback for sure. Um, you know, if you could give some advice to an up and coming social media manager or strategist that's just starting their business, what would it be? I would say that it 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 takes a while to build a business, you know, it takes time to build relationships. Um, when a business hires a social media manager especially if they want, you know, they want more sales, they want more customers. Um, just know that it's a long-term game, right? Like, especially if you're just starting out, don't get, don't give up so easily, right? Like I'm six years in, last year was my best year business-wise, uh, but I also was a stay-at-home dad for six years. So it takes a while to build your business. So just, you know, keep going. Um, like I was saying before, like I found, uh, and it might not be for everybody. I, I know a lot of people like to be behind their computers with social media, uh, and there's certainly other ways to get leads, but in-person workshops has worked amazing, especially if you want to attract local customers. You may want, you know, maybe you want customers in Australia or on the other side of the world. If that's the case, that's not going to work so well for you. Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. I, that's a goal. <laughs> Awesome. Australia. Have you had an international client? I have. Oh man. It was a while ago. It, it's a, um, they're a social media agency and also they had a piece of software. Um, and what it did was it actually just, it brought in your social media feeds so that if a company wanted to have a large screen in their office with the idea of uh, inspiring people in their office in their office with social media uh, on the screen it would show the different social media feeds it could show the number of followers the engagement whatever you know whatever stats you wanted to bring in or just bring in like all the tweets or all the, the posts um, well like a, is it like a social listening tool uh, kind of it just kind of brought everything in and showed all it on, a, on a screen in office yeah that is so cool. Uh -huh. And they were based in Amsterdam. Oh, did you get to go? That was a while ago, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, it counts. Like, I have yet to mark off the international client. To you will do it. You just yeah. need to start singing songs in multiple languages. I know. <laughs> I'm working on Spanish first. Ooh, so. muy bien. Yeah, muy bien. Necesito cantar. <laughs> sí. Um, well, that's great advice. Thank you so much, Tim, for joining us on the show. Thanks for being goofy with me. And um, Thank I you. know that every social media manager, like paying attention to this video right now, is really going to appreciate the feedback that you gave today. So, what is one way that they can follow up with you or follow you? Um, how, what's the best way to get in touch? Yeah, absolutely. So, the best way to get in touch with me is on uh, LinkedIn, I would say. So, just search for Tim Sohn, S O H N. Uh, and I actually just also started a live streaming show for uh, parents who are also entrepreneurs called The Family First Show. Uh, we just de debuted that recently, uh, hoping to build a community of parents slash entrepreneurs and small business owners. Yes! Go, Tim! That's <laughs> awesome! <laughs> One live streaming show was not enough. Yeah, no, that's, it's never enough. <laughs> we're, never, we're never satisfied, are we? Um, no, that's amazing. Seriously. So, okay, you guys heard it. Go follow Tim on LinkedIn. Go check out his show and make sure that you tune in to all the amazing things that he's going to be doing. And we will catch you next time. Tim, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much, Brianna. I appreciate it. Yes. Bye. Bye.